Hello and welcome to your dynamic corner unit assembly video. With this one unit, you'll add up to seven new stations to your floor plan, including two cable stack selectorized stations and two accessory storage zones, all with the made in the USA quality that Dynamic is known for. This unit includes four main uprights, three corner connectors, two side connectors, one main double bar cross member, two sets of shelving and brackets, four resistant band agar bars, one plyo step, one D-handle rope anchor, two pre-assembled selectorized cable stacks, one ball rebounder, one ball target, two storage hook brackets, 35 mating bolts and allen wrenches, two mini working uprights, and one complete bolt kit. First choose two of the main uprights and lay them down parallel about two feet apart. Be sure the top ends with three holes face up and down, and the sides with multiple holes face side to side. Then have two people lift the uprights and rotate them to match up with the angle of the corner connector. This will allow the easiest insertion of the mating bolts. Continue in the same fashion with the middle and top corner connectors until all are attached with four mating bolts each. Tighten the mating bolts hand tight only, do not tighten with wrenches until the very last step of the entire assembly process. Once all the mating bolts are hand tight, stand up the entire corner upright assembly. Next, lift the right side storage cross member into place and fasten with mating bolt. Attach the right main upright. Repeat this step on the left side of the unit. Finish off the main frame with the main double bar cross member. Two people will need to lift it into place, while one person attaches it with mating bolts on each side. Now your main frame is ready to begin adding the shelving units. Let's start with the bottom kettlebell shelf on the left side. Be sure to use the fourth hole from the bottom. Do the same for the bracket on the other side. Slide the bottom kettlebell shelf into place on top of the shelf brackets. Align the screw holes and insert the screws, nuts, and washers as shown. Tighten hand tight only for now. Attach the middle ball storage shelf next. Starting with the brackets. This time, go up three holes from the bottom shelf. Slide the middle ball storage shelf into position and attach with screws, nuts, and washers as shown. Repeat these steps with the top ball storage shelf. This time, go up two holes from the middle shelf. We're now ready to attach two resistant band anchor bars to the left side of the unit. Using the bottom two holes, align the two bars on top and bottom. Then fasten with two mating bolts tightening them hand tight only. Repeat the process for the two right side resistant band anchor bars. Now we are ready to add the two mini working uprights. Apply the left mini working upright to the left main upright. Align the bottom mounting hole with the third hole from the bottom. Be sure the numbering is right side up. Fasten with two mating bolts. Tighten hand tight. We are now ready to attach the center ball target. The center ball target is heavy. Be sure to have at least two people help with this. Carry the ball target with the logo side down. Rest the base of the vertical support on the center corner connector. This will take the weight off while you align the holes for the mating bolts. Next, we will attach the two selectorized cable stack assemblies. The cable stack assemblies are the heaviest parts of the dynamic functional corner unit. These weigh over 300 pounds each, so at least two people will be needed to move these and lift them into place. The next step is sliding the assembly over to the corner upright and aligning it for attachment. This can be tricky with the weight of the assembly on a soft floor. Be sure to have enough people on hand to gently lift and slide the unit without damaging your flooring. Bolt the selectorized cable stack assembly to the corner upright using three mating bolts. Repeat the same procedure with the right side cable stack assembly.
Before adding the bottom mating bolt, apply the D-handled rope anchor. It shares the lower bolt hole with the cable stack assembly. Next, we will attach the plyo step to the left side of the unit. Don't use your finger to align the holes. Insert the adjustment pin and the safety lock pin. We will attach the ball rebounder. Bolt the rebounder to the bottom of the upright. Next, we will square up the unit in preparation for tightening all the hardware. Using two of the supplied Allen wrenches, carefully tighten all the mating bolts. Using the appropriate box end wrenches and ratchets, tighten the hardware for each of the six shelves. Congratulations! You've successfully assembled the entire unit. Be sure to double check that all the bolts have been tightened before making the unit available for use. If you have any questions during or after assembly, don't hesitate to contact Dynamics Expert Support Team at 844-678 7447 or email us at support at mydynamicfitness.com. We stand behind our products and we're confident that this quality dynamic unit will serve you and your facility for years to come. Dynamic fitness and strength, taking your facility to the next level.